Hello students welcome back in this video we will discuss one more hexagonal laminar problem of plane surface in the previous videos we discussed two hexagonal laminar plane surface problems with respect to one of its corner on HP and different surface inclination with HP and VP if you wish to see those videos check the description box for a link Read this question, a hexagonal lamina of 24 mm side as its surface is inclined at 30 degree to HP. Its one side is parallel to HP and inclined at 45 degree to VP. Draw its projections by change of position method. First of all, one side of the plane surface must be parallel to HP. We can draw a horizontal and vertical plane by means of a line and make sure that one side of hexagon is parallel to HP horizontal plane. As per first angle projection, rotate this horizontal plane in clockwise direction by 90 degree so that our top view of the position of hexagonal surface will be like this. So this is the plane surface side which is parallel to HP after rotation of 90 degree it becomes parallel perpendicular to xy in the top view we will proceed the answer first of all you can draw xy reference line and draw the hexagon for the side of 24 mm and we can give a name for all the corners as a b c d e f yes per your wish you can also name different notations or like p q or s t u now after completing the top view as the hexagon for obtaining the front view we can extend the projectors from all the corners this is the first step top view we can extend the projectors from all the corners of hexagon from all the corners of hexagon after extending the vertical projectors now you can complete the front view so as an observer you are standing here as an observer you are standing here so the visible corners are b c d is the visible corners a f e is invisible you are standing you can see the arrowhead you are standing here b c d is visible a f e is invisible must be represented in the bracket so that's why b dash a dash must be in the bracket C dash, F dash is invisible in the bracket. D is visible, E is invisible. So that's why E dash is invisible represented in the bracket. This is step number two. Now the next one is surface inclination. Whenever two inclination inclined to both the planes, you have to take surface inclination in this step number three or you need to remember wherever the line as a surface in whatever may be the view line as a surface here front view is the line as a surface that has to be tilted for 30 degree with respect to hp 30 degree with respect to hp you can measure the same distance from b dash a dash to this d dash e dash reproduce the same length for inclination of 30 degree and keep one side must be on xy one side of hexagon plane surface must be on xy either it may be b dash a dash or d dash e dash a b or e d so we are keeping b dash a dash on xy b dash a dash and we can mark c dash f dash finally d dash e dash this is step number three so always for step 3 prefer surface inclination or you can prefer wherever the surface has line here front view is the line so front view inclination must be with respect to HP in this way also we can decide 30 degree inclined to HP must be used in step number 3 not inclined at 45 degree to VP now for step 4 we can have a story like a dash and A are a same A family members. Two family members have to meet at a function at single point. So you can extend the projectors from step 3 and step 1. So this is A dash. Here it is A. Both the family members meeting at this point in a function called A1. 
Similarly, B dash and here this is point P, both are meeting at this point, make a name as B1. Similarly, we can extend the projectors from C dash and F dash. Here this is C, this is C. C is meeting at this point, but F is meeting at this point. So we can name correspondingly C1 and F1. Finally, D dash and E dash. We extend the projector, vertical projector and horizontal projectors from E and D. So we can mark the respective meeting points as E1 and D1. Now complete the hexagon, join A1, B1, B1, C1, C1, D1, D1, E1, E1, F1, F1, A1. Now you may notify the difference between this step 3 and step 4 here the reduction in size of hexagon there so reduction in size of hexagon after tilting the surface with respect to hp now we have to reproduce this same shape of hexagon but the condition is inclined at 45 degree to vp we can take a simple thin line 45 degree inclination now we have to draw this A1, B1 which is on XY. This side we kept on XY. So the same side A1, B1 must be on this 45 degree inclination line. This is the side which is parallel to VP which must be exactly on 45 degree inclined line. For this we can make a rectangle here. So we can make a rectangle for this by joining all the corners of hexagon in step 4 we can give a name as 1 2 3 4 we can give a name here 1 this corner of rectangle is 2 and this corner of rectangle is 3 and this corner of rectangle is 4 now it is easy for us to reproduce the same shape of hexagon in this 45 degree inclination so i have to keep a1 and b1 so we can draw a 1 to 2 side 1 to 2 side rectangle on 45 degree inclination you measure the distance of 1 to 2 draw anywhere on this anywhere on this 45 degree inclination make sure that it must not touch us xy it shouldn't touch xy so such a way that we can complete 1 to 2 rectangle side 1 to 2 rectangle side with this is where we are having this is where we are having a1 and b1 side which is parallel to hp now you can complete the rectangle by measuring the sides of the rectangle with scale and we can complete and give a name it as 1 2 3 4 now it is easy for us you measure the distance of 1 2 a1 and 2 to b1 mark the same points on 1 to 2 sides in this rectangle similarly in between 2 to 3 at midpoint we are having c1 at the same line we will have d1 on 3 and 4 on the same projector we will have f1 on the side of 3 and 4 we are having d1 and d1 so you can measure the distance of uh, d1 distance of d1 from 3 distance of e1 from 4 and mark a point on this side finally f1 which is the midpoint of 1 and 4 now you can join all these things a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 d1 e1 then e1 f1 f1 a1 so the same hexagon is reproduced only thing the side a1 b1 which is inclined at 45 degree to vp as per the condition of question the final shape now again the story of family a1 on this a dash meeting at a single point of a function so you can extend the projectors from step 5 and step 3 extend the projectors of same family members from step 5 and step 3 so a family members a1 and a dash if you extend the projector here it is a1 dash because a dash is exactly on xy similarly b dash also exactly on xy from b1 you can extend the projector complete b1 dash 
Finally, the next one is C dash F dash. You extend the projector parallel to X Y. Extend the vertical projectors from C one. The meeting point is C one dash. Then we can go for D one. So from D one extend the vertical projector. Here this is D dash. So D dash and D one the same family members meeting at this D one dash point. That's why this is D one dash. Next one is E one. So from E one dash E one extend the vertical projector from this E dash front view. You extend both meeting at this point. Make it as E one dash. Finally, from F one extend the vertical projector. Already the projector is extended for C one dash. So with this we can fix F one dash. Complete by means of joining all the corners A one dash B one dash B one dash C one dash. D1 dash D1 dash D1 dash E1 dash E1 dash F1 dash F1 dash A1 dash. This is the final answer of this question. You can refer here. So step one and two, uh, three and four, five and six, three stages. Uh, we used odd steps like step one and three is used for obtaining step four. Similarly, step five and step three used for obtaining step six. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click a like button and share with your friends. Subscribe this channel.